Hello. Welcome to Theodore Skurblog. That's me. Read you a short story. This story is called Miasma. Nora and Mark tried to be platonic friends, but they also liked each other more than that. Nora also lived with her boyfriend, who, by all accounts, was a really nice guy and only deserved the best. The two of them tried to spend time together platonically, but they usually ended up in a bar for a drink where they both got closer to going off into the bushes and making out. Nora had a thing for making out in bushes. They often met at an English pub on the outskirts of San Francisco's Mission District. It was a weird location for an English pub, being a mostly Mexican neighborhood. And the place also attracted a fair share of scooter-riding Anglophiles who overran the neighborhood with their Vespas parked along the sidewalks. But they had Guinness on tap and Mark could walk there from his apartment. Nora, however, rode her scooter. One sunny afternoon, the two were there having a Guinness, when the word came around that a whale had beached itself down at Fort Funston and was almost dead. The TV news confirmed this. We need to go see it, Nora said. Mark was also curious. So they hopped on Nora's Vespa and started for the beach. Mark had never been on the back of Nora's scooter before, nor any scooter for that matter. He wasn't even sure where to put his hands. You have to hold me around my waist, Nora said with a giggle, and don't fall off. Mark hugged her around her waist, thrilled to be doing so. As she drove toward the ocean, Mark felt a strange elation to hold on to Nora, to put his life in her hands, to give over to her with trust. He was in a safe bubble against her. By the time they hit the great highway, the ocean air was bracing cold, and Mark snuggled close to Nora, her hair and scarf flowing back into his face. Fort Funston was packed with cars, but no problem for a scooter. The two dismounted and started climbing the dune toward the beach. As they crested the hill, it hit them. The stench, overwhelming and horrible for how sweet it was. A miasma of dark, dank sea brine <clears throat> in the bathroom flowery smell of the decaying body of the whale. <clears throat> you could almost see the odor swirling over the whale like a green and purple gas. Nora buried her face in Mark's chest. Mark buried his nose in Nora's hair. They stood in that embrace as their eyes burned and watered. Nora wanted to leave. The whale odor was inside their noses and stayed with them as they drove north to the Presidio. Dense as it was with fragrant eucalyptus trees, Nora stopped her scooter and led Mark by the hand to the groves. They kissed and lay down in the leaves, but it seemed no amount of rolling around would take the smell away. Thank you very much for listening.